Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Test Code Automate. So this is my 14th video for the Playwright with TypeScript series. In this video, I would be covering fill, press sequentially and press methods. So let's start with this locator.fill method. So this is the easiest way to fill out the form field. It focuses the element and triggers an input event with the entered text, whatever the text which we want to provide. Okay. And it works for input, text area and content editable elements. Okay, so let me give you the practical example. So for this, uh, we would be using uh, this ultimate QA.com uh, where we would be filling the value inside this uh, form field, which uh, which are name and uh, the message. So this input uh, field is this name one, right? So if you will uh, inspect this, you would be able to see this input HTML tag. And if you will inspect this message field, so it, this is the text area, right? Uh, the HTML tag name is text area right and we would be able to fill the values using this fill method here so let's go to the visual studio code here i've already created uh, this particular test script file and uh, i've imported the test from the playwright uh, test module and uh, i have uh, created this test block with uh, with this anonymous function okay where we would be writing our code so let's go to this uh, particular site so for that you know what we need to write await page dot go to and then here you need to uh, give this particular link right where we want to uh, enter the values okay and then uh, just uh, we can locate uh, that particular element right message and uh, name field so for this uh, we would be using this uh, pick locator thing okay you need to go to this testing and uh, then click on to this pick locator it will open the browser there you would be able to open the same link right this ultimate QA you can open and uh, from here you would be able to locate uh, the element right if you will mouse over you would be able to see this locator and once you click here and go to visual studio code same locator would be appearing here on the top right with this pick locator pop-up so you can uh, copy this particular locator or if you will enter also it will copy the same and then you can type it here uh, this page dot that particular locator which we copied and then here you will have to use this fill method right and uh, Inside this fill, you would be able to type the value whatever you want to provide. So for now, we would be typing this test code automate, right? Inside the uh, name field, right? For this one. And now let's detect the second field, which is this uh, text area. So again, click on to the pick locator. Go to that browser, uh, the Playwright browser, which is open, right? And click here again and uh, hit enter to copy that locator value now again you will have to type this away page dot and that locator which we copied and then using fill you can uh, will fill those values right using this fill method and here you can write any message right for now we will type this uh, tagline learn for brighter tomorrow okay let me close this already open browser and uh, let's start the execution. Okay, so I'm uh, running the script using this uh, playwright extension feature only. You can also run it through the command. I'm running it from here. Uh, actually, after this, uh, you would be able to see this browser would be open, right? And would be able to see the value. If you will run it through the command, you would not be able to see that, right? The browser will close at the end of the script. So let's run from here. So see here, you would be able to see the execution got started. It will open the browser and would be filling the values into both of the fields, right? This input field, which is name and the second field, which is text area, the message field, right? So see here, the browser got open and uh, the value will get filled once the link is open. So see, uh, it was very quick and you would be able to see the values fit. Okay, let's keep the browser open. Okay, apart from these uh, two fields, we can also fill the value inside uh, the content editable element, right? We discussed here so this content editable element if it would be there into the application you would be able to use this fill method and would be able to fill the value okay so for this we would be using this uh, w3 school site i have opened this particular example where uh, we have this uh, paragraph uh, html tag and inside this there is this content editable attribute which is there right and if it is true you would be able to uh, kind of edit uh, this particular part into the element or this particular paragraph into the element so it is not necessary it should be a paragraph uh, you can fill the value for any any html tag where this content editable equals to true let me show it to you one more uh, site content editable 
okay and uh, here if you will uh, go for this developer.mozilla.org site so see here you would be able to see this it is for a different html tag right so so for any html tag if this content editable equals to true you would be able to add it that particular uh, field into the application right here also see i am able to uh, edit any value right and here into this paragraph also you would be able to type any any desired value right fill if you will use this fill method okay so let's copy this particular w3 school link okay and uh, here we would be again navigating to this particular link page dot go to and then use this link okay and then uh, let's locate that uh, paragraph element where we where this content editable is true right so we would be using this pick locator only to locate the element okay so I use this pick locator and uh, here if you will mouse over onto this you would be able to see this uh, locator right get by text okay let me click on it and then here if you you will hit enter you would be able to copy that particular locator let me comment out this previous code and here you can do the same await page dot uh, that locator which we have copied so here if you will see uh, we are also able to see this uh, frame locator right so as this uh, element which we are seeing is inside the iframe so that's why it is appearing uh, it is kind of locating it using the frame locator so about this frame handling we would be talking into my upcoming videos for now you can directly copy this locator using this pick locator and then we can fill the value using this same fill method right and then you can uh, type any value right so testing content editable with test code automate okay so this text we would be typing any any value which you want to type you can write it down okay and uh, now let's run the script let's close this already open browser so see the it will open the browser it will open that link and then it will fill this value here okay so see uh, this particular link got opened okay and uh, see uh, this value got filled testing content editable with with test code automate right and uh, you can also see this fill method into the html report let me show it to you quickly that how it looks there so let's go to our uh, playwright report this index.html we can open it okay reveal in file explorer and you would be able to see this index.html file double click on it it will get opened uh, here uh, the last result which you executed right here you would be able to see so see uh, we we went on to this link and here into the report also you would be able to see uh, that this particular step got performed locator dot fill and this locator would be appearing and then here you filled that particular value right so all those things you would be able to see into the html report also let me close it so yeah uh, that's all about uh, this fill method now coming on to the second method which is uh, locator dot press sequentially okay so this locator dot press sequentially type into the field character by character right and it will look like that user with the real keyboard is typing that particular value so right that's it i mean that's what we have written here so let me give you the example so for this we would be using this uh, google.com okay just copy this link go to the visual studio code we will also comment out this part also okay and then here you need to do the same thing to open that link await page dot go to and then you can give this google.com link okay the complete link you need to give https colon and double slash and then that site link right which you want to open and then here we would be kind of locating this particular element right so if you will inspect it so this is the text area right where we would be filling the value so for for any element uh, like input text area or the content editable which we discussed you can uh, fill the value using this press sequentially method okay let me show you how it will fill it so first let me uh, locate the element so directly i will create this um, css selector 
using this id so page dot locator okay and uh, here as it is id i can put this hash and then uh, this id value about this we have already talked about uh, into my video where we have talked about the locator with different selector options so if you have not watched that video i would recommend you to watch that video into the playlist i will provide the link of the playlist and the video of this uh, locator thing uh, into the description okay and once the locator is created here you can uh, use this press sequentially method right so first let me use this fill method and i will show you how it would differ from this press sequentially okay so let's fill play right so let's run the script let me close this already open browser okay and uh, we would be running it through this or an option okay so uh, this google.com would be opening and this uh, using this fill uh, for now we are filling that value so see directly this particular uh, we, uh, value got filled here right as we discussed for the fill method it focuses on the element and then uh, input uh, that particular value but if we will use this press sequentially let me use the press sequentially on place of this fill so press sequentially this method you need to use and uh, the same value would i would be typing play right right and uh, let's start the execution let's close uh, the open browser okay so i started uh, the execution and uh, here you would be able to see that uh, once this link is open this playwright is getting typed uh, like the keyboard we type right p l a y right one by one it uh, got typed it was very quick so you are able to see it like this we can also give the delay right uh, here so you would be able to see that those values are getting typed one by one using the keyboard right so for that you need to provide the second parameter okay and here inside this uh, curly braces you need to provide the delay as the key and the value would be 1000 millisecond whatever the uh, delay you want to provide between each of this key press right d e l a y is the spelling right let's run the script using this pass sequentially so here into the browser you would be able to see this link will get opened and uh, the each character is getting typed one by one right with this delay of one second right it, it typed the values here right so uh, in most of the cases you would be able to use this fill method to fill the values but uh, if there is any special ca case where you want to fill the values use like this keyboard stroke right one by one so you can use this press sequentially right or in any case if you are not able to fill the value using the fill method then you can try this particular press sequentially method okay now uh, yeah that's all about this press sequentially now uh, let's go on to this last method which is locator dot press okay so this method focuses the selected element and produces a single keystroke okay it accepts the logical key names like this uh, back quotes minus backspace delete uh, this this type of name you'll have to provide right arrow down arrow up page up so all the key keystrokes we can pass here inside this press method to perform that action let me give you the practical example so same on to the google.com we would be performing uh, the action so after uh, typing this play right using this press sequentially let's use this fill method okay so here you need to use this page dot and then on to the same locator let me copy the locator okay and here you can use this press method okay so what we would be doing after typing this play right let's try to select uh, this play right meaning right so it is at the third place into this list right first second and the third one so what you'll have to do here into the press method you can provide this arrow down this key arrow which we can press right so what you'll have to do you need to write this a r r o w d o w n so what it will do it will it will kind of press that uh, down arrow using this press method okay so we need to press it three times so just copy this arrow down three times inside this press okay and uh, now let's run the script 
so let's see the browser so it will open the browser again it is typing those playwright value one by one okay and once it is typed it would be uh, kind of going uh, to this third place right playwright meanings right it was very quick so automatically see after typing the playwright it pressed the arrow down key three times so that's why we are able to see this uh, playwright meaning okay similarly you can also press the enter using this uh, uh, same method press let me copy till this point okay and to press the enter as a string you need to pass this e and t right so what it will do it will search this value and uh, then it would be hitting the enter let's comment out this part where we press the arrow let's just search the playwright okay now let's close the browser and again run the script so this keystroke enter would be happening and we would be able to see the result right into this uh, uh, google site right playwright once it types the playwright it will hit enter right with the help of script okay and see here you are able to see the results also into the uh, this browser so let's uh, also try to perform this uh, backspace key operation okay so for that let me copy this uh, same locator and here we would be pressing this backspace key which would be uh, kind of uh, removing the last character right if you press this backspace so same thing you need to provide this press method and inside it you need to pass that backspace as the string right okay so what it would do it will it will fill the value inside this uh, google text box playwright and then it will hit this backspace which would be removing this t last character right manually also if you do the same we remove the last character right with the help of backspace so let's run the script okay so it has opened the browser and it is typing the value one by one with uh, one second delay and once the values are typed we would be able to press that backspace so see it typed playwright and then it hit the backspace using this press method and the value got uh, removed right this t got removed okay so any any action which you want to perform you can give that uh, key name or the key combination right we give this arrow down combination uh, three time we press this arrow down you can also press the control a to select all the text there right so it's it depends on you what is uh, the requirement so accordingly you can uh, give the combination so it will produce a single keystroke so that's what i mean we talked about right and it will uh, do that operation there okay so i think we have discussed all the three methods right okay so that's it uh, for this particular video let me give you the quick recap so here with this uh, locator.fill method you would be able to fill the values uh, right into any of the field like input text area and content editable right it will focus on to the element and directly fill that value using this uh, input event okay the second method uh, which we use this uh, is this press sequentially where uh, we were able to uh, kind of enter the value like uh, character by character right so it was looking like someone is manually entering but uh, with the help of script we were doing it okay and the third uh, is the, this press method which we learned about where it uh, where we can pass this logical key name and it would be kind of producing it as the single keystroke and performing that particular operation right so all, about all these three methods we learned about you can uh, um, use this fill method onto input text area right and the content add table and similar you can try it with the press sequentially also so it will also do the same operation one by one right but if you use this press sequentially for filling the value so if any particular value which is already there into the field it will not remove it right it will kind of type over it okay so you can you can try these methods uh, with a different combination and uh, you would uh, get to learn right uh, how these feeds or how these methods are working right and uh, in most of the cases you would be able to fill the values using this fill command but you have any requirement related to press the key then in that case use this press sequentially or if you want to perform any keystroke then you can use this press method right so yeah that's it uh, from my end stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you have any comments questions doubts you can let me know into the comment section below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day